Hello everyone, welcome back my channel. Golden Bachelorette says she had to lie to family about super embarrassing part of dating show. Joan Vassos will debut as the Golden Bachelorette on Wednesday. When Joan Vassos became the Golden Bachelorette, she had to tell a few lies to her family about the process. They were very adamant about me not kissing men on TV and about fantasy suites. So that was like super embarrassing for them, Vassos told Fox News Digital. But, you know, I said I wouldn't kiss anybody. And we all knew that was a lie. So, oh well, she added with a laugh. Vassos first appeared on the Golden Bachelor franchise during last year's premiere season and said her family was a little more nervous about that than her taking charge as the Golden Bachelorette. Nobody really knew what this was going to look like, if it was just going to look like a bunch of old people dating and might not be very dignified, or I don't know, it could be embarrassing, I guess, for them, she explained. So, after they saw that it was really portrayed really nicely and it showed that dating at this age isn't embarrassing and it could be really fun and there were great personalities of women. And on my season, the men are amazing. They were a little less worried about me. Watch. The Golden Bachelorette star had to lie to family about kissing contestants on the show. As the Golden Bachelorette, Vassos will get her pick of 24 older gentlemen in the prime of their lives, according to the show's synopsis. I am looking for someone who's ready to spend the second half of their life with some adventure. I want to have fun. I want to show on the show that dating is fun and that just because we're a little older doesn't mean that that's out of the question, Basso said. I also just want like a kind man and a generous person and someone who's going to embrace my family. And I really want somebody who has a family that I can be involved with. So right now my life is about family and I hope I find a person that has the same values as me. Vassos is a 61-year-old mother of four and grandmother of three and says they're the secret to keeping herself youthful. They make you happy. I think happiness is a big part of staying young. And then I have a dog, so I take the dog for a walk a lot. So I'm out like in the fresh air and being kind of active, the school administrator said. She lost her husband, John, after 32 years of marriage to cancer and credits her family and friends for getting her through the hard times. I had an eight-month-old grandson when John passed away, so he was like my source of comfort. You just can't be unhappy around a little eight-month-old, to be honest, she said. The Rockville, Maryland, resident added, she also has amazing friends. They wouldn't let me sit around and say, I'm going to not go out for the next week. That wasn't allowed. They would come and drag me out of my house. And honestly, staying busy helped a lot. So, you know, you still had your grief. It was there when you got home. But going out and having a little lighter feeling, you know, for dinner or go out for a walk with a friend really does help. Some of what connected fan favorite Vassos with Jerry on The Golden Bachelor was their shared grief at losing a spouse. We got along great. He did help me kind of in that whole grief journey. I, for the first time, imagine a life with somebody else because that's what you do on the show, like you're looking for life with somebody else. So you start having these real thoughts like, could this be, you know, would this be something that worked? So... I did actually imagine that I could possibly have a life with him, Vassos said. Vassos ended up leaving the show early to help her daughter, who was suffering from postpartum depression. Who knows what would happen down the road, and if he would have formed stronger connections with other people, or maybe our connection, would it end up being just our friendship, which it is now. And he's one of my favorite people. I love Gary, but as a friend, so who knows how it would have turned out. But I think it turned out the way it was supposed to. Jerry married Teresa Nist in January 2024, but the couple divorced just a few months later, to the surprise of many. I witnessed their love connection and their journey, and I thought they were a really good match. And that shows you, when you come out of the bachelor bubble, there's still work to be done. And you have to figure out what a life would look like together outside of the bachelor bubble, Vasso said. So, I'm surprised they didn't make it, she added, but I'm also not surprised. I mean, what happens, there's lots of success stories, and there's some failures. And I wouldn't call them failures. It's just revelations that happen once you leave the bachelor bubble.